Hazards are part of our world. They come to us in myriad forms, disregarding borders and boundaries, unmoved by the lives they touch. They visit us again and again in a recurrent cycle of emergency and relief. Often, they're not unpredictable events, but well-established and familiar visitors. How do we get our hands around these issues? How do we bring together the humanitarian and development communities with a single, integrated approach to risk reduction and resilience? What does it actually mean to measure resilience? And how do we do so in light of the ever-growing threat of climate change? In my organization, there are, we see disaster response and DRR issues separately. And there is a scope and room for integrating uh, that emergency response or DR, disaster response and uh, DR issues. Having two separate approaches to climate change and disaster risk reduction does not result in efficient intervention or a long-term vision of resilience. Putting two approaches together has the advantage of breaking down barriers and bringing together different actors and experts. Toward Resilience as a product of the ACB project speaks to the humanitarian and development communities with a single integrated voice on reducing risks, adapting to climate change and increasing resilience. Over 160 practitioners working across 12 countries have contributed their first-hand experience to the guide. Built around 10 overarching principles, the guide references numerous case studies and addresses key vulnerable populations and sectors. Toward Resilience is a practical guide created by the field for the field. The integrated approach is important because at community level, there is nothing called a water sector or economic sector or education sector for the community. The issues they deal with in a day -to -day, on a day-to-day -day basis is holistic. Toward Resilience does not try to replace our current policy, but helps complement and advise this policy. The integrated approach makes sense because disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation are often based on the same concepts and have similar goals and objectives. For me, this guide is a consolidation of the current uh, plethora of knowledge surrounding the issue of uh, disaster risk reduction and resilience building. So it makes it very easy for us as practitioners to have one uh, source of information which we can use in our program planning and designing. How do we prepare ourselves before the emergency comes? so that we can reduce the impact. So this guide is really important in that it helps us to prepare or to support communities to start thinking about the way they can start preparing themselves for a disaster that they know is really going to come their way. Climate change is already with us. We look out now over a rapidly shifting landscape of needs and resources a landscape of unprecedented challenges. We cannot eliminate hazards. They will always be with us. But we can understand and prepare for these challenges to prevent them from becoming disasters. Toward resilience is a powerful tool in this process.